welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Boxing. I'm your girl, Letty. I'm LB. And let's talk about the fight that's going to happen this weekend. Yeah. Um, we have Ryan Garcia out of Victorville, uh, Cali, um, versus Javier Fortuna out of the Dominican Republic. Yeah, so, uh, so what did you think about the press conference? I'll let you start. Go ahead. Well, I I'm a little confused with the press conference. Um... It, it kind of heated up with Fortuna and um, Ryan Garcia a little bit towards the end of the yeah. press conference. But I don't know if I was not cringing, but like when they exchange hats, like that was a little bit we weird. Like I don't Fortuna was trying to be nice, right? At first by saying, oh, okay, here you go. You like the hat here. You can have it. But then it's like he looked, I don't know, someone in the audience says something or he looked at someone in the audience and that's when he went up to Ryan Garcia and was like, you know, like, this doesn't mean that just because I give you the hat, I ain't going to give you an ass whooping. Yeah, you know? well, I mean... I'm confused at... Well, I mean, I think he was just doing that. I mean, he, he gave him the hat like, oh, you like the hat here? And let's... Hey, he did. He was kind of clean, though. Yeah, it was. Because yeah. I was looking at that, too. Before he, even Ryan mentioned the hat, I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay, Fortuna, clean. He got the yep. bulls on. Yep. He had the, yeah, he got the he chains had the, on. Yeah, he had the red shoes. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, he got a little, he got a little style. Uh-huh. And then Ryan, on the other hand, looking like uh, Tim Duncan when he just got drafted, wearing uh, as looking like he shopped at the Big and Tall store. Uh, you know what I mean? But uh, but yeah, he was but yeah, yeah, he was focused. But uh, but yeah, so when he went over, uh, you know, he gave him the hat, and then Fortuna kind of got in his face to kind of let him know. And uh, Fortuna's kind of been like he's kind of been giving that energy like that. And uh, I even saw him go up to like um, to De La Hoya, like you know, in front of the cameras, and like pretty much tell him like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna knock. I'm gonna knock him out. Ryan Garcia yeah, getting knocked out. Yeah. yeah, it was a. Uh, it was in a uh, fight hype was the one that covered it. Who who actually showed it? Oh, okay. But um. But yeah. So you know he's kind of had that energy. Like it seemed like he's trying to. He's definitely been trying to play mind games with Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Um, leading up into the fight, you know. Um, you know, I rem I remember hearing um, Fortuna. You know, talk about things like saying that Ryan isn't really. He doesn't really have mental health issues. Like, he was really blatant on that. You know what I mean? Because uh, they were supposed to fight before, and then, you know, Ryan um, had uh, pulled out of the fight. So, um, you know, he's definitely taking shots at him, you know, pretty much saying, you know, attacking him as, you know, saying he's he's soft pretty much and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, I, he's definitely trying to play the mind games, it seems like, with Ryan Garcia and kind of get under his skin, you know? Yeah. Um, well... Ryan looked pretty serious, a little more in the yeah. zone today. It was very different than the last time we saw him. Yeah. Um, and Fortuna, I feel like, you know, hey, he's getting money, you know, too. And he's going to, you know, try to sell the fight as much as he can. And I am mad at it, you know. Yeah. And uh, to kind of go with that, um, you know, he, he kind of he kind of got into it with uh, Jojo Diaz, too. Um, you know, in their last fight, you know, they kind of got into it. And if you don't remember the weigh-in, they kind of uh, went at it back and forth, had to be separated. But, you know, so I'm just trying to see, because in that fight, you know, um, Fortuna really didn't, it didn't seem like he came to really bang with, uh, uh, with Jojo Diaz. Like, Even it, though he was banging with him. Yeah, it was just like, like, he just, he just, uh, you know, I just feel like he didn't really throw something like really behind, you know, in that um, Jojo Diaz. And okay. Jojo Diaz pretty much, you know, he pretty much dictated the fight, so... Um, you know, so I'm just want to say, I just hope that, you know, Fortuna comes ready. Um, you know, I feel like his last two fights, he hasn't looked as good as we've seen him in the past. So I, I'm curious to see what kind of Fortuna we get. I think we're going to see, I don't, I don't know if I want to say a reckless Fortuna, but we're going to get a Fortuna that's going to stay in the pocket and fight Ryan. You yes, know? You think? Yes, I okay. definitely think okay. that. Um, okay. And I'm excited to see how Ryan is going to handle that with someone who's going to stay in the pocket and, you know, um, fight. Because I don't know that I've seen too many fighters, you know, fighting with Ryan, standing there and coming forward and fighting in the pocket with Ryan. Because yeah. I don't know how good Ryan can take punches. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, um, I will say this. Fortuna does. Um, he, he can't fight that way uh, coming forward. We have seen him uh, fight coming forward. But we have seen him fight a lot going backwards as well. So, um, and I would probably say, based on Ryan's last fight when he fought to go, uh, to go was moving a lot, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it was giving Ryan uh, some trouble. You know, Ryan had a hard time cutting off the ring, and he started getting frustrated. And he was throwing a lot of reckless shots. So, 
Um, if I'm for tuna, I'm looking at that and I know that I can, uh, you know, I think my movement will get him frustrated and I think he'll be there to, um, and that'll, that could transfer into uh, him landing some of the counter shots that he's so good at doing Fortuna. So I, um, so, so yeah, so um, I think, you know, I've seen Fortuna do two different styles and it's kind of interesting because, you know, he's saying that he's coming in to knock him out, right? Mm -hmm. But you know, Jojo Diaz, when he fought Jojo Diaz coming up in weight, you know, that was a first, uh, Jojo Diaz first fight at 135. And, um, you know, Jojo Diaz took his power really well. And um, so, you know, I'm not really uh, sure if, um, you know, uh, Fortuna could um, get that knockout. But um, I definitely think that he's yeah. going to be testing Ryan for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I feel like he's confident. And, you know, after watching Ryan's uh, fight with, uh, Tev uh, I was about to say Tevin Campbell, with, uh, with uh, Luke Campbell, um, you know, I could, I could definitely see him, you know, uh, feeling confident. Um, you know, you look at the fight, Campbell was able to do a lot of things well against Ryan that uh, a lot of people didn't uh, expect. You know, he was able to counter Ryan, um, you know, and he actually, you know, dropped Ryan. Knocked him down like, whoa, him. Ryan was like, what just happened? Yeah, with an overhand left. And, you know, mm -hmm. expect, uh, you know, and an overhand left is actually, um, it's, it's it's harder to see when you're coming with a shorter fighter and uh and um and Fortuna is definitely going to be the shorter fighter but you know he's used to being the shorter fighter and I think he even mentioned that but um but yeah so you know there's definitely um you know if he's looking at that fight the to go fight and the uh, Luke Campbell fight he can definitely uh have some confidence because the movement of to go gave him uh Ryan Garcia problems and as long as the south the southpaw angles and um you know, the left hand, uh, um, Luke, Campbell. Luke Campbell gave Ryan problems. So, you know, I think that's a, that that's where a lot of uh, his confidence is coming from, too. Yeah. But Ryan just said he likes to fight yeah. southpaws because it gives him more angles yeah. to knock him out. Yeah. Now, with Ryan, um, you know, he's got quick hands. Yep. He's got quick hands and he's got power, too. Yep. And I feel like when he comes in, even from round one... Like, when he gets in the ring, he already starts, you know, to throw heavy punches. Like, he doesn't wait too long to start throwing those heavy punches. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of go off of that. Yeah, this is your first uh, time watching Ryan Garcia. Um, he's known for that left hook. You know, um, that's his best punch. He got a nice left hook. He throws it up top. Or he even got a nice left hook to the body. And that was the punch that actually uh, stopped uh, Luke, Luke Campbell. Campbell. Um, Brian is part of that, um, a part of that, uh, class of, uh, you know, Devin Haney, um, you know, he's kind of in that age group. Um, you know, prior to the Luke Campbell fight, you know, it was a lot being talked about about him and, uh, Gervonta Tank Davis. Um, you know, and so a lot of people were waiting on that fight to kind of happen. Um, you know, so he has a large amateur experience. Um, he's like you kind of mentioned, you know, he's known to have quick hands. Um, you know, so, you know, he's been, he's been talked about as being, you know, um, you know, kind of the next thing. But, you know, I think that Luke Campbell fight, um, it kind of, um, it kind of had people kind of pause because, you know, we've seen him get caught with that, uh, left hand from Luke Campbell and it's only, I mean, imagine if that was coming from, you know, Tank Davis. So I think, I think, um, you know, people kind of changed their expectations for Ryan after that fight. But, um, I mean, kudos to Ryan in that fight. You know, he did get up. Um, off the canvas, and he did end up stopping a guy who has never been stopped, in Luke Campbell. Yeah. So, you know, that was a feat. And um, Luke Campbell, you know, he's been in there. Um, he's been in there with uh, Lomachenko. Um, so, you know, he's, he's definitely got some experience. Um, I think that this is even, uh, he's going to even get more experience when he's fighting against um, Fortuna. Fortuna's been in there. Yeah, veteran. Yeah, yeah. And um, Fortuna's been in there with uh, one of the guys that I've kind of looked at, one of the fights I've kind of looked at, to kind of get ready for this fight is uh, Fortuna versus um, Robert Easter Jr. Um, I saw that. So Robert Easter Jr. Yeah, Robert Easter Jr. was, um, you know, they fought at a uh, lightweight and Robert Easter Jr. has a lot of the same size as Ryan Garcia. So um, one thing about um, one thing about Robert Easter Jr. though that he has over Ryan Garcia is, uh, you know, he's got a better jab. Uh, I've been waiting for the jab to come alive for Ryan, especially in his last two fights. I was say, I actually, I've seen him jabbing a lot in the Luke Campbell fight. Yeah, so, he was jabbing to the so body. here's the thing. So here's the thing when you say that. So when you say that, yeah, he was he started off. He started off jab using his jab, but as soon as as soon as um he got caught with uh and went down, the jab went out the window and then he made up in his mind like I'm coming to knock Luke yeah, Campbell out. Yeah, yeah, and he was yeah. throwing nothing he was throwing hooks, strong hooks he to was. the body, Why? straight rights yeah. and uh left hooks. The jab was completely gone. Um and then when he went in the to go fight, 
you know, he didn't, he wasn't, uh, you know, he wasn't cutting off the ring. He wasn't, um, you know, working behind the jab. You know, when you got someone using the ring, you want to work behind the jab and uh, go to the body to kind of slow him down. So, you know, that was a long layoff for Ryan. So, you know, that's kind of, that was kind of expected. But I think that um, he's definitely coming, he, he definitely is coming to make a statement now because, you know, there's been a lot of, there's kind of been a lot of chatter. Yeah, know? especially like now, I mean, with the last fight also, he didn't, he wasn't with, um, with, Eddie Reynoso, yeah. He wasn't yeah. with Eddie Reynoso, so I can fight without Eddie Reynoso. Yeah, um, that's true. It was and a when the last, in the last one, that you know, there were people was talking shit like, oh, you know, he didn't perform to his best. Yeah. Could have been done because you know, one, he had a long, you know, uh -huh. all season, and he changed trainers. So I think this time he wants yeah. to come out and be like, you know what? I want to shut everybody up, um, and I'm gonna come out to perform. Yeah. So that being said, I think Ryan yeah. is gonna get the win on okay. this fight. Okay. But yeah. I think Fortuna's going to come and mm -hmm. he's going to give it to Ryan and Ryan's going to have to know how to take those punches. Mm -hmm. But I think Ryan's speed and wanting to prove people wrong and, you know, his power too, I think he's going to get the win. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So, um, I think, um, I think, um, it's going to, I think it's going to be a good fight. Um, I think that Ryan is um, going to get tested in this fight. Um, I say that because of a lot of the success that, um, that Luke Campbell was having. Um, versus Ryan, and also the fact that uh, that Fortuna, you know, he's had good experience, like I talked about, with Robert Easter Jr., who has a good size, and he actually has a good jab. Uh, Ryan, um, a lot of times, um, you talked about um, in our previous video, like, you know, you like a defensive fighter who's uh, defensively responsible, and when it comes to that, you know, Ryan has been lacking in that department, so um, I feel like uh, one of the things that Ryan kind of struggles with is uh, he tends to pull back with both of his hands down like this, and it leaves him... Uh, Leaves him open to be hit, That's and he leaves happened. his chin up in the air. You know, and um, even after, even after he got hit with that shot um, with Luke Campbell, you know, um, we t we talked about how Eddie Reynoso picked up on the fact that hey, yes. he dropped the right hand, and um, and Ryan Garcia, you know, he really did. He didn't make the adjustment. That same punch he was getting hit with for the rest of the fight. So that kind of, you know, that kind of, um, you know, has me a little wor worried about that. You know, so who do you got? But I'm I'm breaking it down. Let me let me break it down. So. I do, um, I do see, um, uh, I do see Fortuna having a lot of success, uh, you know, counter punching. Okay. Um, I see him counter punching and I see him kind of, uh, trying to uh, make it kind of a rough fight. Uh, Fortuna, if you watch the uh, fight with Robert Easter, it was kind of like a rough and uh, they're wrestling a little bit. And I, I think that that might make Ryan a little uncomfortable. And if I was Fortuna, I would try to make Ryan uncomfortable. Um, that would be his best bet. Um, but in the end, um, I don't think that Fortuna has, you know, seen um, the type of hand speed that uh, Ryan Garcia has, and Ryan has good power. So, um, you know, and um, and uh, Fortuna, you know, he does get hit. So I do see he Ryan. Does. He does get hit, and, he, and so I do see Ryan actually closing the show with a knockout. Ooh. But I think, uh, but I do uh. think that uh, Fortuna is going to show his spurts, and I think he is going to be able to land some good shots on Ryan. Yeah, yeah, you know but I mean? you know, actually, what you mentioned, and, yeah. um, Fortuna, you say he gets hit, but he's still there. Yeah. He's getting yeah. hit, but he's still throwing yeah. punches. That head's going yeah. back, but he's still coming uh -huh. forward and throwing punches. So I, yeah. I am really, really excited yeah. to see Ryan get this kind of challenge. You know, yeah. and and to kind of go off of that, uh, I was shocked during the press conference actually when um, one of the one of the officials at Golden Boy was like. Yeah, and this fight's going to be at the super lightweight. And I was like, wait, super lightweight? I thought it was going to be 135. So the fight is actually going to be at 140 pounds. Oh. Um, yeah. So the fight is actually oh. going to be at 140 pounds. Um, you know, I, I think I saw something along the lines of it was the reason uh, uh, Fortuna wanted the 140. So um, so that kind of makes Why? me feel like, exactly. And so that kind of makes me feel like, what, what kind of Fortuna are we going to get? You know what I mean? Mm. But Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia is already big for the division, you know. So um, I and um, when I look, yeah, he definitely got some size. I mean, he's almost uh, he's almost six feet tall. And uh, you look at Ryan; he doesn't have like a uh, like a, a skinny frame. You kind of look at the Robert Easter. Robert Easter is kind of he's a thin guy. Ryan doesn't; he's not really like a thin guy like that. Um, so and and when I look at it, Fortuna kind of looked. He 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 kind of looks small against Jojo Diaz too, so I'm kind of you know that kind of gives me cause for pause, you know, the fight being at 140. It's a little side eye ish. But um, but yeah, this fight is uh, gonna be interesting. I, mm -hmm. you know, I think um, I think that Ryan does go ahead and get the job done just because um, 
you know, we've seen uh, Fortuna get hit. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, um, you know, if um, Fortuna lands on Ryan, um, you know, how he reacts. Um, you know, because Ryan has been, sh he showed to get um, frustrated in the to-go fight, you know, chasing a... Uh, uh, to go around the ring and even and even <laughs> um, funny yeah and even when he fought um you know um Luke Campbell he he got frustrated you could tell like when he got knocked down that really bothered him you know mm -hmm. so you know it's definitely gonna be a entertaining fight I'm hoping that Ryan um comes in sharp you know he said that you know he's miles better from his last fight against to go he's talked about the skills and everything you know um uh, like you said you know this is the second time um with in camp with um Joe Goosen as a trainer. So um, I definitely um, expect Ryan to uh, to uh, come in and put on a show. Um, he knows there's big fights on the horizon and he has to look good doing it. Um, you know, versus to go, you know, he got a lot of criticism. And so I expect him to come in because, you know, he, he's talked about this Javante Tank Davis fight. For 10 years? Yeah, he's been talking about it for, for, for a, a long, long time. time. And, um, you know, he, he needs to get people uh, wanting to see that fight. And how does he do that? He's got to look good and yeah, impressive so against um, Fortuna. Yeah, yeah. So, so I am going with Ryan by knockout, but um, I think he's going to be tested. Yes, and I'm so excited to see that. I'm so excited. Can't wait. But, uh, yep, yeah, so uh, that's all we got. So thanks for tuning in, y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or talk your shit. And we out.